in this family, she wanted to be everything. She wanted to be, she wanted to be Alice, she wanted to be Pat Benatar, she wanted to be, uh, she, uh, look, listen to what I say. I want to be one of them bomb girls. Now, I don't mean one of them bomb girls you see in the movies, like the romantic interest, and that was, that was boring. I want to be one of them chicks that you see in the opening sequence, like in the shadows that like gyrate, and they're all like, Oh my God, I thought that was better than the solid gold dancers. I was just like, woo, awesome. And I was back in the day where they used to have the beautiful opening sequences with Bond and the beautiful theme song, which, eh, they kind of have a theme song today, but not really, you know. Daniel Craig just kind of blows someone's head off and the picture starts. So, but I remember when it was the fashion to have a beautiful opening theme song. Like say for example, this next one where Bond is in the throes of death and he jumps out of an airplane and he's got this cute little Union Jack parachute and he lands down below into the palms of a woman's hands and it goes. Yeah. 
Bond will be back this fall in Skyfall, I think is the name of the new picture. And he'll be once again the toast of Hollywood, so wham, bam, thank you, Mr. Bond. And speaking of Hollywood, child, I don't know what is going on in Hollywood these days. It is not the Hollywood that I recognize. Now, when I grew up, everything I saw about LA and Hollywood it was, you know, that old glamour. It was the furs, the old magnificent studios. It was, it was palm trees. It was premieres and red carpets. It was something to dream about. It's where legends were born and made. And now, what do we have? We've got Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> I mean, have y'all seen the little show with the little, yeah. little pageant child? Yeah. Come on now. I mean, <laughs> Pageant child, girl, whatever you, whatever you call a child. I mean, we have just totally reverted. I mean, what's going on? What was the other thing I heard that made me mad as hell? I think it was, um, oh, uh, Lindsay Lohan is now playing Elizabeth Taylor in some kind of movie. Now, come on, man, you know that's a desecration. Playing Liz, you know, be in and out of rehab about 12 times, and then you get to play Liz Taylor. Come on, you know, you haven't earned the right to play Liz Taylor. Liz Taylor and Lauren Bacall, they all ate tramps like you for breakfast. Are you kidding me? Well, I tell you one thing. I adore palm tree lined streets and the spotlights and all the premieres of old Hollywood as much as, much as the next person. But, honey, I don't think I would want to live there. Woo. Not me, baby.
go to sit down. Well, first of all, I gotta take these shoes off. Listen, excuse my back. I know this last up, but so excuse me. Yes, shoes are just like men; they don't last too long with me. <laughs> oh Lord, it hurts you, and then you gotta get it. Trying to go to town. But uh, I want to ask y'all one thing. Whew. Get all situated. Yes, oh my Lord. Ah. I want to ask y'all. Y'all ever feel old as hell? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know I do. And you know, I ain't never felt older than how I felt this year. Now, I could share this with you all and spend some time together. If I share all this other stuff, I know I can share this. <laughs> and I turned 40 this year. And you know, <laughs> thank you. I'm glad you clapped because I didn't clap with a damn time. I was crying. <laughs> but you know what? It didn't, it didn't hit me that I was 40 until, you know, I'm, I'm watching the TV. And y'all know I'm a TV watcher. Everything we've done tonight, I'm like, this bitch watch it. TV, good lord. You know, but I was watching TV and there's all these 40th anniversary celebrations going on. I mean, like the Waltons have their 40th anniversary, the price is right. And I know I love both of those shows, but I'm thinking, damn, those shows have been around 40 years. Damn, that's a long ass time to be on TV. Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, they've been around since 1972. Jesus, so have I. <laughs> That's awful. Oh my God, but what are you going to do, man? I mean, time waits for no one. But getting older has got me thinking about how, you know, how free-spirited I was. <laughs> free-spirited I was when I was much younger, you know, because when you're young, you don't know no wrong. You're not jaded. You know, the whole world is yours. And I thought about how I was, and I'm like, man, how can I ever get that sense of peace, that contentment that I had when I was like, you know, five and six years old? And it'll probably never happen again. But I do remember when I was five years old, I had a wonderful friend. He became a friend to me. I used to watch him every day, yes, on TV. And, you know, he really struck a chord with me. First, you know, I couldn't help but notice he had this navy blue tie he used to wear. And he had this red button-down sweater and blue kids. I always did like a man with blue kids. <laughs> Might do a thing about a man in five years old. But, <laughs> but, you know what, he said something to me that I had never heard before. He said to me, through the screen, mind you, he said, you are special. And I believed it. Of course, I didn't believe it until 35 years later. Because you know, I couldn't receive it, you know? I mean, you're growing up, and you know, the negative voices are always the loudest. If someone tells you you're special, don't take it for granted. You know they mean it, but still, I couldn't receive it. But I believe it and I receive it now because I need to hear it more than ever. Like we all need to hear it more than ever. So I'll always thank Fred Rogers for kind of giving me a sense of self and a sense of purpose. But uh, he's no longer with us, as you know. And I still look for him. You know, he's not there. But um, it's okay, you know, because I managed to find my own way. I'm sure you have, and if you haven't, you will. So, but I remember the very first song he ever sang to me when I was just an awkward girl. And hell, you know, I'm still awkward. You know, I just don't give a damn. Forty, okay, that's not. But I think it means something. you away. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. 